Hey guys, hey, guess what? It has already been six months since I started testosterone. This has definitely flown by. Shit. I can't believe it's already been six months. It's like half a year. Duh, right? But, I mean, seriously, it doesn't feel like that. it's been that long. Oh, well, what's my bit going on? I have been absent. I have... I had a little bit of schedule adjustments and stuff, so I had to sacrifice some things. Some YouTubing had to kind of go on the backside just a little bit. I'm going to try to get it a little bit more regular again. Um, I've just been really packed. I got some new projects I'm working on, um, so it's basically um, trying to balance time balance type of stuff. So, oh, all right. So, before I get into all my updates, yeah, I saw, boom, Melissa Etheridge last night was freaking awesome. She's on tour again uh, post-COVID, so yeah, it's a great show. So go go watch, because I had a blast. I had a blast, dude. I haven't been to a concert in two years. Miss the music. I miss the energy of people all around. It was so, yeah, I had a good time. It was fun. All right, so. Updates, physical updates. All right, from between my five and month six, you know, there's not that much changes. Um, I've had my my voice is still lowering. I think that's just gonna be a constant thing for a while. I'm kind of feeling like there's a little bit more Adam's apple here. I'm not sure. Um, you know, my facial hair like. I got the peach fuzz thing going on. You probably can't see it on camera. Um, it hasn't darkened or anything, you know. So we'll, we'll see what it does and we'll see how long and whether or not I can actually grow facial hair. I don't know. Because um, I know it really just depends on your genetics. And unfortunately, my family's genetics doesn't really grow a lot of facial hair. So we'll just see. Um, we'll see how it goes. I do have like the upper lip thing going on. Uh, it's not. It's not like beard beard thickness or anything. So I am getting some acne. All right. So and part of that has to do the fact that I went camping and forgot my facial scrub at the campsite. And so uh, I was out of it for like a week, and then my face was like, "Blah, I hate you." Doing regular soap doesn't really do the the same amount of facial care that you really need to use. You know, use what I like. So the Posh P BFF has been working really well for me. It really takes the oils out of your skin and, you know, freshens up your, um, freshens everything up. Oh, so I answered my own question. Okay, and like I said about earlier that, um, so I'm trying to balance out my schedule. Well, some of the other things I had to kind of be pushed aside was working out. Um, I was still doing a little bit, but not as consistently as I would prefer and not as consistently as my body was used to. So my question back, you know, a few months was, is it the testosterone making me stronger or is it the workouts? So my, my kind of answered my own theory. I have worked out pre T. I had went on binges and then I break off and then I do some more break off. I never got the muscle building that, you know, I was I was really wanting and I didn't get the strength surge. You know, I got stronger. I went from like like two push ups to like twenty. Um, but it wasn't the same amount of strength surge as I found when I was actually on testosterone. And that was pretty freaking cool because, like, it was like suddenly, like, whoa, I am, uh, I am feeling great. You know, I, I am tiring less. I, so I have more endurance. My strength is just skyrocketing faster. Which is awesome. Yeah. So, but because I've been, I don't want to say lazy, just busy, just busy and not prioritizing things like I should. Well, I'm kind of seeing that I still have muscle. I'm still, you know, I'm still a lot more muscular than I was pre-T, but my strength has gone down a little bit. So 
it's not just the testosterone that keeps you strong. It's the fact that you're working out and then including the testosterone. And that's what you need to do. I know any cis guys would be like, well, yeah, no shit. But it's more a comparison of myself and how my body is reacting to things. Might be getting a negative side effect. Might, might. Uh, okay, so I'm um, not sure. I'll talk to my hairstylist next time I go in, but I think my hair might be thinning out a little bit. Uh, that's really early for that. I'm thinking that I had a few years before I worry about that. So I'm going to talk to my hairstylist, see if she has any products to recommend me. Um, I've only been on here six months, man. I don't want to lose my hair, so uh, we'll, we'll just um, see what's going on with that. I mean, my, do my doctor said that they have medication, but I'd rather not. Uh, I'd rather not do medicine unless that's the last ditch effort. I'd rather try to naturally, you know, not go bald. But if anything else, I can permanently wear a hat. I wear that anyway. Whatever. Oh, and still no trace of the period. So, thank God that is over. I haven't had one since May. That is freaking awesome. Anyway, that's my six month update. You know, half a year already gone by. Feels like yesterday and it feels like it's been my whole life. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.